Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video and I know that's like a super basic video to do. I'm just kind of going off a list that I've made on my phone of video ideas that I kind of wrote down over the past few months because I knew I was going to be starting up my channel again and I personally love watching what's in my bag videos. I know some people don't so if you're one of those people just don't watch this video I guess but I do have a few other videos planned for this coming week so stay tuned for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So I have the Michael Kors Selma bag, the studded version in the size medium and it is in this like tan, like tan neutral color. Just a little bit on where I bought the bag. I actually bought it off of Poshmark which is an app that you can download on your phone and basically you can buy and sell used items. You can do anything from clothing to electronics, things like that. I like to get my used handbags off of there because I'm not about that full price life. I am definitely on a budget. So I've had this bag for, I'm not sure, probably a few months now. And if, if you've seen my other What's In My Bag video, I'm pretty sure it was a Selma also. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that, but I am a big fan of the Michael Kors bags because they're very sturdy and also they look super cute. And then this one isn't that large. It's actually pretty much the perfect size for me. It just fits what you need and it's nice because when I do have a big bag I end up lugging around things that I actually don't even need so this is a great option if you are anything like me and do that also so this is definitely like a crossbody type of bag I do love the crossbody type bags or if they have like a crossbody strap that is my preference because it's just nice having your hands free all the time so you can just throw it over your shoulder and you're good to go you don't have to worry about it it has nice gold hardware on it let's go ahead and get right into what is inside this is just kind of what it looks like on the inside it has one zipper compartment right here so the first thing are these sunglasses I actually just bought these yesterday at Target they are literally so cute if you're looking for a good pair of sunglasses go to Target they had a whole wall of sunglasses at my Target so that was really nice it was actually really hard to pick <laughs> but I ended up going with these guys they're like rose gold pink sunglasses and next I have my wallet in here obviously and I actually have this Michael Kors wallet. I picked this one up on Poshmark as well. So, I mean, it's literally so easy to use the app. Let me actually show you. So the app looks something like this. And if you guys want to follow me, I'm just at Francine Marie. So here is actually the bag that I bought off of Poshmark. They kind of showed the actual pictures of the item. And then they have a description. It says it's, they've only used it a few times, excellent condition, yada yada. They purchased it for $2.98 and I got it for $1.20, which is about half off, which is an amazing deal if I do say so myself. I'm not about to go out to Nordstrom and buy this for $300. So, I mean, if you can get it for like pretty much new for half the price I'm in. And then I bought this wallet here for $50 on Poshmark also. I mean, all you have to do is type in Michael Kors bag, Michael Kors wallet, and you will find tons of different options. I mean, you can literally look for anything you want on there, and they pretty much have it as far as, like, clothing and accessories and things like that go. Anyways, so as for my wallet, I love this wallet because it is a nice size for my bag because I did have, like, a big wallet before, and it was a little too big for my bag. And then I also did have, like, just a card holder, and I think that's a little too small for my bag because I did want to have an area for cash. So this is kind of what the inside looks like. It has like a nice little flap right here. This, you can like put coins in it and such. And then I just have my cards here. And then just cash and then I have more cards also. So yeah, this wallet is super, super nice. I love it. Matches my purse pretty well. It has the gold hardware. Next thing in here is just my keys. Um, not anything too out of the ordinary. I have a little Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer with a little cute case. And then my friend actually gave me this. It just looks like a little cute tassel, but it actually has like a charger inside of the tassel. I don't know if you can see that, but which I think is really, really cool. You just need to bring around a little box. And then just random little things in here. I have a coupon for World Market. And then I have a Noodles and Company receipt. And then I have this little bag. This has come in handy because it fits really well in my purse. It's actually like a pencil pouch. I feel like if I had an actual makeup bag in here, it would pretty much take up most of the inside. So I wanted something that wouldn't take up a whole lot of room. I've actually had this for quite a while. I don't know if they still sell this design, but it is a Vera Bradley pencil pouch. So inside, I 
I don't really have that much actually. I really am a minimalist person. I don't need a whole lot in my purse because I do find, like I said, if I have a big purse, I just carry so many unnecessary things that I really do not need to bring with me everywhere. All right, so inside I just have my headphones, I just have a tampon. I have this Taylor Swift perfume rollerball. I've had this literally for years. Um, I'm not really sure if these go bad, which they probably do. I don't actually find myself reaching for this very often, to be honest. It still smells amazing, actually. I have a pen. This is actually really cool. I have this lighter. I got it in Vegas at a gift shop. It actually kind of looks like a lipstick tube. And you just simply... It's so cool. You can go to concerts and... <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I honestly don't even need this, but I have it. And then I have some tweezers. Just a bunch of these little, like, toothpick things. I have a nail clipper. I have my stupid thing that you have to use for the iPhone 7 for the headphone jack. And then I have my mug in here. I don't know if you guys want me to do a full video on this or not, but I do find these super nice to have. It's basically just an aroma therapy diffuser, but it you directly inhale it. I actually haven't used this in forever. It's the Zen Monk. It's really pretty. It has like a little diamond on the end, but like it's really not anything harmful for your body. It's literally just essential oils. So mom, if you're watching, it's just essential oils. <laughs> you can do research. It is just natural ingredients. It's nothing bad for you. It's actually really good for you, especially if you have any type of anxiety or anything like that. And that's all I have in that little bag. And then my purse is pretty much empty at this point, but there is like a little thing that's like attached to the actual bag and you can like clip your keys on there, but I find that annoying. Like, why would you want to do that? I don't know, I feel like it'd be a hassle to like, have it always clipped in when I'm just trying to leave but I have this little thing attached to it and it's basically just a little pill dispenser I'll show you. So you can just kind of store your pills in there I just store like ibuprofen in there because you never know when you're gonna have like a headache or anything I'm actually trying not to take any medicine like that because it's really bad for your body and then just in this little like zipper compartment right here I pretty much just have like little panty liners and then tampons oh i have a little lip balm and i actually have this little card that came with the bag it tells you how to take care of your bag basically anyway so that is all that's in my bag nothing too crazy honestly i mean it's just the bare minimum that you need in your bag like i feel like you really don't need anything else oh my phone is always in my bag also i just have the iphone 7 if you guys want me to do like an what's on my iPhone 7 video, I will. I mean, I'm pretty sure those are like long, outdated videos. Like I haven't seen one of those videos in forever, but I love watching them to see like what apps people have. Because I don't know, I love finding helpful apps that I could use on my daily life. But anyways, yeah, that is everything I have, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I highly recommend the Michael Kors bags. I've had two of them already. They never disappoint. And they're also very, very cute. I love the stud detailing on this one. If you guys have any suggestions on what video I should film next, please do leave it down below. I would love to do it for you guys. And if you don't mind, just share this video. I am trying to build my channel a little bit. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.